Today's math subject is about the percentage applications. Where are percentages used in life? Okay, use this board to calculate various percent percentages when it is needed. Learn where percentages is used. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five. At least five applica applications of percentages. The first one is when we have a discount. In some supermarkets, you can see goods with discount. And what will that mean? Let me see. I will type the first price of the product. If I want to buy a gaming chair and its price is $215. I will type the discount percentage. Let's say they are giving 25% discount on that chair. That should mean that this chair will cost me $161.25. And here is how to calculate this. Divide the big number by 100, then multiply by the percentage. Subtract the result to the big number. And we will have the discount. The next application of percentages is when we have a bonus for, let's say, a quantity. And here we see in the store a, a waffle that, uh, that is 25 grams, right? And if they give a bonus to that waffle quantity, let's say 10%, we are getting a waffle with 27 grams to eat. <laughs> Or this is divide the big number by 100, then multiply by the percentage, add the result to the big number. And we get the bonus. This is the quantity with the bonus of the waffle. Or the packs. Let's say 25 grams of packs with 10% bonus is 27.5 gram of packs. <laughs> okay. Next application of percentages is when we are making a deposit. This is for grown kids that want to get something from their savings. Okay, let's say we have a hundred dollars and we are going to a bank where the bank gives one percent of interest to that hundred dollars. Now one percent is too big in these days when I play this, but some, sometimes that number can grow or drop depending on the bank. And if I calculate this, it will give me this is the amount received per month. But let me let's see how this is calculated. First, the banks are giving the percentages in for for the year. This is an annual percentage. So what we need to do is divide the big number by 100, then multiply by the percentage, and then divide the result by 12, because there are 12 months in the year. And that will give me the exact number of money that I will get per month. This is 8 cents. <laughs> 8 cents for candies, right? So, next application of percentages is with loans. This is the opposite of deposits. I'll calculate the final loan return value. Let's say we want to borrow to get $200 from someone which want we to return it with 
20% of uh, interest, but this is opposite interest. So we will have to return $240 to that person or institution. The loans may vary with percentages and they can reach up to 50 and more. So be careful with loans. How this is uh, made? Divide the big number by 100, then multiply by the percentage and the result, add the result to the big number. And finally, we have percentages in games. Of course, you will see a lot of uh, places where percentages applies, like uh, leveling heroes or rising hero abilities or percentages of success and more. So let's see an example. Type your hero level points. Let's say my hero have six, five, seven points. Type the points needed for new level. He will need a thousand points to make the next level. And that will mean my hero is at 65 percent reaching the new level. This is divide the sum this is divide the small number by the big number and, and multiply the result by hundred. And with that I'm finishing the percentage exercise and application and because this is not actually a game but a calculator we have three different calculators at the bottom it is situated in the math calculators on the Planeta 42 website where I can I can calculate different type of percentages. Let's say what is 3% of a, a thousand. That should be 30. The next type of calculator is Let's say 21 is what percent of 100? That should be 2.1. And the third one is, let's say 678 is 3% of, and this is the number, that 3% should be shipped. 678 of it. Uh, so this is the knowledge dosage for today and until new meetings.